your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. What's up, everyone? Coming back at you again. All right, guys. So we're going to do a little, I guess, toy collection video. This is kind of like... So what these videos are is I'm trying to do something a little bit different. So as a toy collector, um, sometimes we collect our action figures and we put them on shelves and we forget all about them, man. You know, me as someone who doesn't really have time, who's a grown man, I don't play with my toys occasionally i'll do like comedy skits and stuff like that but sometimes we don't take the time out to appreciate the action figures that we have so uh what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of my favorites man uh because they're in my collection i haven't sold them off yet so <laughs> so so they are some of my favorite favorites i'm gonna let you know why i'm gonna let you know why they're overlooked and why they're such great figures uh so on and so forth so let's begin this a uh, little shindig. I don't know what to call this video. I think toy appreciation, maybe. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to start over here, then work our way to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right now. Two steps. Um, but over here, we have uh, Commando Spawn. We have uh, Batman McFarlane. We have uh, McFarlane Joker Mortal Kombat. We have a Marvel Select Beast. Marvel Legends Thor, we have a Boba Fett, we have a Predator, and then we have Thanos at the end right there. All right, guys, so I hope you guys are here with me, and uh, let me know in your comment section, um, what is some of your favorite figures in your collection, and let me know why. All right, so we're going to start off with Commando Spawn right here. I forget uh, which uh, line he's from. Uh, I don't know if he's from 2000 or 2001. I did buy him loose. I did do a review of this guy. I really love this Commando Spawn. Yeah, he's just a statue. I can't wait for McFarlane to actually give us an articulated Commando Spawn. With that being said, he's magnificent, bro. He's a great, great display piece. Great guns. Look at the guns. Just look at the artillery on this guy. The artillery and the skull, the grenades, and another skull, more bullets. Guns sculpted onto him doesn't don't really move. <laughs> He's got missiles attached to his arm right there. More guns, more guns with scopes. Just an overall great, great looking figure, man. Um, I love these classic uh, McFarlane figures, even though they were just statues. But damn it, they just look so great on the on the shelf when you put them on there. Just amazing, amazing piece, bro. Can't remember what this is from. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually took this guy off the shelf and actually looked at him and actually took the time to appreciate this spawn. Does this gun pop out? Feels like it's supposed to pop out. No, it's glued in there. Okay, yeah. <sighs> but this is what they gave us back in the day, man. I'm pretty sure he's from the early 2000s. I know that much. But... Man, just an amazing piece. If he was like a statue piece, like in a bigger scale, he would look really, really awesome. So there is Commando Spawn right there. Uh, some new figs uh, we're going to take a look at. As you guys know, I'm, I'm a vintage retro collect collector. But sometimes we don't take time to appreciate some of the newer figs that are out. And this Batman is just freaking awesome, bro. Uh, they did an amazing job with this Arkham Batman. Just the overall armor on him. Very nicely done. Very overlooked Batman out of all the Batmans that are being released, uh, that have been released by McFarlane Toys. I've always uh, liked the Mc, uh, the uh, Arkham Batman figures, man. And this guy is really, really nice. The eyes are a little creepy. <laughs> like you just saw a ghost. But just overall, great, great detail. And it's better than the uh, previous Batman Arkham Asylums that... Uh, Arkham Asylum characters that we've gotten already, so, or before, should I say, the older ones. 
I just think it's just way better, way superior. Yeah, they were made a, a little bit better, but just overall, just a great, great looking Batman. Um, yeah, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for some company, uh, or excuse me, some movie studio to actually give us this kind of Batman because this kind, this guy right here, he just kind of has like the perfect bat costume, bro. It's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of tech design. It's a little bit of armor, stealth. It has the classic Batman look, the gray and the black and the gold belt. Just an overall great, great looking Batman and very, very overlooked. And I felt, I feel like he deserved another look and that's why we looked at him today. Uh, speaking of Batman, we're going to stick with the Joker right here. Uh, he just recently came out, this Joker right here. Just recently, recently dropped uh, <laughs> late last year. And it's an awesome Joker, man. I... You know, listen, I'm so, a lot of people have passed on this Joker because he's just so simple and so plain. But yeah, he's just so sinister, man. And I love him. Uh, he's right out of the uh, the video game, Mortal Kombat. The face is done nicely. The cane, this cane just sells it so nicely. The knife. He's very simple, very simplistic, but yet, damn it, it works. It works, man. Really love this Joker. One of my instant, instant favorites. And, uh... Yeah, I feel like he just doesn't get enough love, man. And if you are if you are a Joker fan, I don't think you'll be disappointed with this Joker, especially if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, which you if you guys are, you probably already own him, but nonetheless. Let's go to Thor right here. Marvel Legends Thor. Now, when I first got this guy, I was kind of hesitant because I had the Marvel Select, which pretty much looks pretty damn identical. I did a versus episode of the Marvel Select versus Marvel Legends. It's a good Thor. Um, the face is not all that great. It's way better than the Marvel Select. But just in the overall, the sculpt is really great. Uh, some blemishes here on this chest. But nonetheless, Marvel Legends actually did a really, really great job with this classic Thor. And look at that. It has the writing on his hammer. Um, he's very, very nice. Some of the joints are a little gummy and a little loose. You know what I mean? For this Marvel Legends. Probably some of the loosest joints I think I've ever had. On a Marvel Legends figure. But just an overall great, great classic Thor figure. And this is the guy that I know from the comic books. You know what I mean? This is what he looked like in the comic books. Uh, the cape is actually pretty decent. It's a hard, you know, rubber. I feel like they could have done a little bit better. Maybe a cloth cape probably would have worked a little bit better. I'm sure Marvel Legends Hasbro will capitalize on it. Capitalize on it and then give us another classic looking Thor upgrade. As they always do. But... For now, the Thor is actually really, really good. It's the classic Thor. Love it. Love the Thor. Uh, next up, we have this very overlooked Marvel Select Beast, man. And let me tell you guys, when he first came out, nobody gave a shit about him, bro. Everybody was hating on this uh, Marvel Select Beast. You know, it wasn't the beast that they wanted. It wasn't the Jim Lee-inspired beast. But I think over time, I think more people have come to appreciate this beast for what he is he's just a different unique beast you know it kind of reminds me of you know when mcfarland first released the his batman it wasn't the batman that we were expecting and we were disappointed well at least i was but over time it grew on me and i come to appreciate it same thing with this beast when he first came out i liked him everybody else kind of hated him and now on the market he's kind of a hard figure to find because he is beast he is a marvel select beast and and he wasn't that popular, you know, to begin with when he first came out. I don't understand why, because if you guys are Marvel select collectors like me, you appreciate him. But if you're like, you know, the Marvel Legends collector, he doesn't really fit into your format. I understand that. And he doesn't look like your typical beast. You know what I mean? But just overall, I think they did a great job. Compared to the Marvel Legends, I think, yeah, Marvel Legends is definitely way better. But this is just a different, unique, realistic take on him. And that's what Marvel Select does. That's what Diamond Select does, is they give us a real, real, you know, take on these figures. As if they were, like, real, real figures. You know, real characters, should I say. And so that's why they made Beast look like a Beast Man. Speaking of Beast Man, we'll go over here to Predator. Uh, one of my favorite Predators, man, from one of my favorite Predator movies, Predator 2. This is the City Hunter, I believe. 
just an overall great detail, man. We don't take time to appreciate this Predator. Of course, there's the mass version, unmasked version. They've released this guy so many freaking times. But I love him just simply based on the detail, based on the nostalgia. One of the best Predators, I think, ever made, in my opinion. Yeah, um, you know, there's the Alien vs. Predator Predators, but I like the classic look. I do like him with the helmeted uh, version as well, which I do have. But just simple, plain Predator 2 goodness right there. Just a great, great figure. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at Boba, who's become popular nowadays. Well, he's always been popular, actually. But with the uh, the book of Boba Fett, you know, I, I seldom break out any like Star Wars figures <laughs> to take a look at because I've kind of lost interest in Star Wars. But and this is and there this is an older um, you know Boba Fett too, so he's not your upgraded Boba Fett. But nonetheless, he still holds up, still holds the test of time. Just a great, great uh, action figure. Listen, I think if you guys are Star Wars collectors or just action figure collectors in general, and if you don't like Star, if you don't like Star Wars, I think Boba Fett is the perfect figure to have in your collection. Even if you don't collect these kind of figures, you know what I mean. Just if you wanted one figure from Star Wars, you know, whether it be from Black Series, you know, Darth Vader and Boba Fett, I think always, always delivers. And and uh, yeah, Hasbro actually did a really good job on this figure. Like I said, there have been upgrades of this figure, but nonetheless, it works. I like them. And then there is Boba Fett. All right, last but not least, we're going to take a look at Thanos right here. This is a Marvel Select Thanos. And this right here is probably one of the best uh, armored uh, Thanos figures ever, bro. Really, really great figure. Um, I think it was a year, year ago or a couple years back, he was on my top... 20 figures or maybe i think he was in top 10 uh figures of that year just an overall great great figure man definitely stands out in your collection marvel select collection he fits well he sizes well with marvel legends just an overall very very nicely done thanos figure man thanos of course you know because you know uh uh, Avengers is, is you know, not as popular as it once was. It still is, but, you know, being that Thanos is gone and dead, you know, he Thanos has kind of dropped off the radar a little bit. But, um, and he's not as popular, you know, as he once was, you know, a couple years ago. But uh, this Marvel Select Thanos, just a great, great job, man. Um, Diamond Selected, the face is done nicely. The helmet, the armor is just done nicely. Yeah, so if there's one, like, armored Thanos I can recommend, it's Marvel Select. And, of course, Marvel Legends did their version, which was all right. But I just, I appreciate the Marvel Select a little bit better. And there is Thanos. All right, guys. So there was some of my figures, uh, my favorite figures in my collection. Let me know what you guys make of some of my favorite, some of my overlooked uh, figures, some of the overlooked figures. Uh, underappreciated figures right there. Tell me, you guys, what are your underappreciated favorite figures in your collection? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next review. Peace out. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Gangsters and Demons on YouTube. Check it out.